I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It is time for your brand new phone tap. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. And today, we did one of these earlier in the year. Somebody emailed into the show and wanted to phone tap a coworker mm-hmm. because he was bragging about cheating on his wife. Oh my God, that oh, one was yeah. horrible. Yeah, I, I mean, good and so, horrible. So we busted him in a phone tap, and the guy went nuts. <laughs> can I? Can I just get, up now? Because you really f-ed up, okay? Can oh. I just get like two questions from you? I need to ask about the mini bar. Did you partake in the mini bar? Call my wife, okay? And ask her about the mini bar. It's not about the mini bar. It's about calling her up and telling her that you made a mistake. Oh. And since that clip aired. Aired, we've received quite a few emails and text messages. Some were like, go get him, Jubal. You busted a cheater. That's awesome. Yeah. Others were saying that I crossed the line and we should have let that be private. And those people are cheaters. <laughs> That's what That's I have so to mean. say to you. But there were a few other messages from listeners who wanted me to bust their friends and coworkers for the same thing. So we waited until we got a good one, a good one, a good email in. This time, a woman had been unfaithful, and little did she know it, but she's about to be part of one of my phone tap series to catch a cheater. Ooh. <laughs> now that I've got two of them, I'm officially doing a series yeah, to I catch a cheater. <laughs> it's to catch a cheater, part two, right now in your brand new phone tap. It's another Jubal phone tap. And weekday mornings on the twenties. Only on moving ninety two point five. Hello. Hi, my name is Colby Sazerac. I'm calling from restaurant. I was looking for Melissa. This is she. Hey, Melissa. How are you? You're a tough one to get a hold of. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Why are you calling? Well, I've been trying to get a hold of you for a few weeks, and I've not been able to reach you, but you were in our restaurant a little while ago. Yeah. And I believe you left your cell phone behind. Uh, no, you just called me on it, so I definitely oh. still have my cell phone. Well, if I remember correctly, you were in here with a dark-haired gentleman. Do you think it could be his? I'm sorry, what is this about? This is about a lost cell phone at our restaurant. Listen, we like to go the extra mile and make sure that if people leave stuff here, we get a hold of them so they can get it back, so... Okay, well, we both have our cell phones. We had a great experience, so we're all all good. Thank okay, you. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay. Call her back. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Melissa, this is Colby Sazerac from the restaurant again. I think we got disconnected. No, I hung up on you. We have our phones. We had a oh. perfectly fine time. I don't have time to do your survey or okay. whatever no, you're no. calling for, so I don't, thank you. I don't have a survey, but I do need to just kind of talk to you for a second. Look, I have my cell phone. I don't know. Yeah. Well, this isn't about the cell phone. I to be more clear about that. This isn't about the cell phone necessarily, but it's about something that happened because of the cell phone. If you just have a minute. I, fine, I have... One minute. Okay. So you have a rather unique last name. So I logged on to Facebook to see if I could find your profile. I typed in your last name and I couldn't find yours, but another s- came up. His name was Chris. And so I messaged him to see if he knew you. What the f- did you just do? Well, I messaged. It turns out he's your husband. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And then I was asking if he was at the restaurant with you and if he left his cell phone behind. Or if he oh my could. god. And Stupid f***ing asshole. What the f*** is wrong with you? I thought that you would think it was helpful that I was willing to go through oh, all this work to find you. thought you were being helpful, did you? Well, guess what? You're not f***ing helping anything, you idiot. I, I just don't understand why you're so worked up. It's just a cell phone. It has nothing to do with the f***ing cell phone, okay? You f***ing idiot. What the f*** did you say to him? What did you say? What did I say to, what did I say to your husband? Just Answer me, you moron. What? Well, what did you say to him? I just simply told him that you and another gentleman were in here dining the other day. Are you and f- I th- kidding me? What the f*** is wrong with you? I, I, I thought that would be okay you since are one of you guys clearly... You f- up. You have no idea how much you f- this up and you need to fix it. Okay, well, I, I'd love to fix it for you. I really would. Then f- fix it. Well, what would you like me to do? Why don't you message him back and f- tell him I wasn't there, you f- I just don't feel right doing that. I can send you a gift card if that helps. You want to offer me a f- gift card after you just ruined my marriage? I don't want your f- gift card. 
You need to send him a message on Facebook and tell him that you didn't see me there. That's all you need to do and stay out of it. Um, I'd love to send him a message, but I can't because I never actually did in the first place. <laughs> you just said you sent him a message, so clearly you did. What the no. f***? Do you not even remember what you're saying? No, I, I didn't send him one. Well, I lied about sending him a message. <laughs> what? What the f***? What the f***? Why would you... So you didn't tell him? No, I didn't, because this is a prank phone call. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding me? No, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. <laughs> is this supposed to be a f***ing joke? Yes, it is. Apparently, you told your friends that you've been messing around with some guy behind your husband's back, and one of them emailed me to prank phone call you. Are you kidding me? No. Who the did it? I'm not going to tell you who set it up. This isn't funny. This is not a prank. You better tell me I, who know, sent that I, message. I just don't feel right telling you. I, I don't want to get involved in all that drama, you know? You're already involved, you asshole. <laughs> My husband better not hear this. I have no idea if he'll hear it. I don't know if he's a listener or not. Does he listen? You know what? I hope no one listens to this piece of show. F*** you. <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.